At some point in the future, I want to build a spindle sander from scratch. And while it looks like that's what I'm using right now, this is actually one that I rebuilt. And I mainly did that so I could put larger drums on there. So a big part of making one from scratch would be to figure out an easy way to make the sanding drums, also to make it fairly low cost. Even though you can buy the actual rubber sanding drums, they aren't cheap. And also they suffer from a problem of shrinkage. And that's a problem that I have with the original sander. So the first thing I need to do is cut out the discs and I'm using three quarter inch plywood for that. And then I'll lay out the center point for each disc. I need five. And then the last thing I need to do before I cut these out is drill the center hole. It's a lot easier to do when the piece is bigger like this rather than trying to hold something small. I also need one that's made from half inch plywood that's slightly bigger and this one will go on the bottom. And then a disc made out of foam rubber, uh, gym flooring actually, locks the sleeve in place as it gets pressed down. To fine tune these discs so that they're a perfect fit, I made a couple of jigs for my belt disc sander. And the first one uses the belt and it gets it close. This is a rough grinding one, takes it down quickly. And then I can take it from there and move it down to the one that's on the disc and make it a perfect fit. And the one made from foam rubber gets done the same way. The only difference is I'm not gonna fine tune it on the disc. This needs to be slightly bigger, so I'm only gonna do it on the belt. I've got a lot of homemade tools in my shop and I use every one of them, but this one, this belt, this sander, I use almost every time I'm out here. It's so handy. It's well designed, it's compact and doesn't take up much space. And if you want to build one for yourself, there's plans available on my website. There's a link in the description. And now with all the discs made, I can get it assembled right on the spindle in the sander and start with the half inch disc down on the bottom. And then I'm going to stack up three of the three quarter inch discs on top of that. Then the foam rubber disc and two more of the three quarter inch ones on top. Then the sleeve should slide right on and the nut tightens down to hold it in place. And here you can see how it's working. After I've confirmed that everything's good, I can take it apart again and glue the parts together. Just the wooden parts on the bottom and on the top. I'm not going to bother gluing it onto the rubber disc. So that's that one done. I'm going to put it in the rack that I made and I've got just one left to do and that's the three inch one, the biggest one. And that's basically all the same steps. So I'm not going to show them all. However, this size drum is the reason why I went to the trouble of rebuilding the spindle sander to begin with. The old one just went up to two inches. 